Brazilian ocelot kitten born at the Beardsley Zoo in January. And this one's particularly significant because of the way the kitten was produced. We use a new technique called oviductal artificial insemination. And this is the first time we've used this technique successfully in any non-domestic cat species. Well, it's really exciting because with this technique, we can use a lot less sperm for an artificial insemination procedure. So it means that we can probably do more AI procedures with a, a given sample from a male. But also, it helps us when we freeze the sperm. If we want to use frozen thawed sperm, which is often compromised by the freezing process, by putting the sperm in the oviduct, it gives us a better chance to get pregnancies. We've done some comparative research in domestic cats, and we typically get about 70% pregnancy percentages in domestic cats using this same approach. This is our first success in an ocelot, but we think that it will improve our overall pregnancy success in ocelots and other endangered cat species. I think it's important to crew, but it's also important to our managing cat populations in captivity. One of our big challenges is maintaining enough genetic diversity over time. And we have to be able to move genetics as frozen sperm or frozen embryos instead of as living animals if we want to maintain adequate diversity over the next 50 to 100 years. So this technique kind of opens things up for us as far as managing ocelots but other endangered cat populations that we have in captivity. Mm -hmm.